Hello everyone. Welcome to Reach Goals. Today, I'm going to talk about securing the RESTful API. If you're not familiar with the REST API, please check the previous video to understand the concepts of REST API. In this video, I'm going to talk about multiple techniques to secure the RESTful API and we'll have a deep dive on securing the RESTful API with the OAuth framework. Before knowing how to secure the API, we need to know what are the common issues faced if you're not securing the API. The number one issue which we face is the DDoS attack. The second thing is anyone can call the API through the postman and get the data. The third one is anyone can pass wrong data through the API and insert the data into the database, which may be a wrong data. Let us also understand what is meant by securing an API. Securing the API means we should allow only the known users or the applications to access the API. Also, we should have a mechanism to track the user or the application which talks to the API. Let's see how to secure a RESTful API. We need to apply multiple techniques to protect the API. Some are easy and some are complex. The most popular and the sophisticated one is the OAuth protection. Here are the ways to protect the API. The first one is the TLS certificate. The first step in securing an API is to ensure you only accept queries sent over a secure channel like the TLS. Communicating with the TLS certificate protects all access credentials and API data in transit while using the API's end-to-end -end encryption. The next way is you also need to have the API keys. Always send the API key while calling the REST API. This helps to track the user, block the user if not needed, enable or disable the feature, and help to authenticate the API as well. You need to make sure the API keys are kept secret and not stolen. And also, we need to use IP whitelisting. Allow only the designated IP address or the machines to access your APIs. The next one is OAuth tokens. Using OAuth is the most sophisticated way of securing the REST API and is used to protect the complex APIs. The techniques is used widely from e-commerce to the banking applications. Let's deep dive to see how OAuth 2 is used in protecting the REST API with an example. Let me explain the OAuth 2 by using one of the previous system design videos in this channel. This is a system design of Airbnb and there is a presentation on this channel. There are links in the description too. Please check it out. If you need to protect the REST API through the OAuth 2, we need to have three important components. I'm going to add those components on top of the screen. First one is the client server and it is a layer between the UI and the resource server. The resource server is also called the API server or the server which hosts the RESTful API which are to be secured. The second is the OAuth server, which helps to generate and store the OAuth tokens. So the third component is the resource server. Resource server is nothing but some additions to the server hosting the REST API. This could be an independent server and it all depends on your architecture. In order to make it simple, let me use another diagram, which is shown on the screen. Here we have user, which is a user browser. Then there is a client server, which is a layer between the user and the OAuth server. And we have the OAuth server, which is used to generate the OAuth tokens and do the validation. And finally, we have an API server or resource server, or sometimes you can call it as a, the server which is hosting your RESTful APIs. Now, let's see each step involved in securing the REST API using the OAuth token. User initiates the request to the client application. The request is redirected to the OAuth server for authentication. The OAuth server sends the login form to the user to grant access. The user generates the credentials and OAuth server determines whether to grant access or not. If the user consent is required, the OAuth server sends a consent form to the user. The client server grants access. If the access is granted, the OAuth server sends the authorization code. The client application requests an access token from the OAuth server. 
the OAuth server sends the access token to the client server. The client application sends a request to the resource server and includes the access token in the request header. The resource server sends a request to the OAuth server to validate the access token. The OAuth server validates the access token. Then the resource server sends a response with the requested information to the client server. The client server sends the requested information to the user. So this is how the whole flow of OAuth2 framework works. Hope this presentation helps. In the future video, let's talk about how to use the OAuth token in the API with some sample codes. Thanks for watching and please ask your questions in the comments and I'm happy to answer.